What's up, everybody? It is the one and only Black Monday after show. So young Roland was in the Black Panthers. Tiff is kidnapped by her own parents. And Don tells Mo about her true feelings. And it ain't about him. Let's go. Let's get it. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just, I miss, I miss our like introductions. I but, know. you know, it, it is cute. what it is. You know, yeah. we work it out. What's up, everybody? It is the one and only Black Monday After Show. I am your host, Lim Gonzalez. Uh, and with me, we got a full house. And I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah. We got a special guest, and I'm going to get to her in just a moment. But next to me, the one and only. Angel Taylor. <laughs> hey guys, Angel Taylor. On yeah. the mic, one, two, one, two. One, two. <laughs> and of course, we got the one and only real Shay Jones. I mean, I love that. Hey guys, <laughs> I, I keep it real. <laughs> keep it all the way real. Uh, and of course, on the end, you know, she always got something to say, hey. even at the wrong time. Hey. Kitty Kaboo was in the building. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm working on it. I promise. Yeah. I promise I'm working on nah, it. We, we, we calling on Jesus. Yeah, we I mean, I got a lot to say, I brother. know, all the time. Let's see, God <laughs> is trying to time. tell you something. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Exactly. Amen to that. All right, y'all, it's guest time. It's yeah. guest time. Yeah. Yeah. It's guest yeah. time. Yeah. It's guest time. Yeah. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, she is in the... Oh, we got the drum roll. She's in the building. Um, you might have seen her on the screen because you did. Because she's <laughs> on the show. That's why she's here. She is the one and only Elia Cantu. Yes. Hello. A.K.A. Suki. Yes. Suki Suki now. Suki Suki, Suki, Suki. Suki. <laughs> I mean, first of all, I'm... I'm I know that phrase from like the South, and it's like you know permeated throughout all of time. Was your character based on that phrase? Actually, it was Suki Suki. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You cannot you know say that when it's a Southern woman sitting next to you. But you know what I mean. But you know what I'm. She is correct. You know what I mean, girl. Yes. You know what I mean. But Suki yes, she's correct. More Asian. Though. Yeah, so it's Suki. It's technically Suki. with Suki, okay. not Suki, but Suki. Okay. Mm -hmm. So would that be any case? Oh. Would that be an indication of why they named you that? Does that have See, any I relevance? I'm not sure. I don't think it really did. You yeah. Know? But it was just kind of fun that you could kind of play with the name. Definitely. And her right. hair was blonde, so mm -hmm. she kind of seemed like ethnically ambiguous, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was okay. digging that because she's kind of ethnically ambiguous. Yeah. Yeah. Like in, in real life. life. In real life. There we get go. it. We get it. There we go. Um, so yeah, just forget my question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally well, off. It ain't personal, I just, no, baby. I, I it just ain't asked the question. That's it's all, all bad. Moving on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's what we do it. Not at that's all. what we do it. Come Not on, man. See, we, see, we already started. We already like started. <laughs> just trying to help you out, brother. I'll just be quiet. I'm sorry. I know I'm a host and all, but I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> it's all good. You oh, know, man. we had a good time. All right, so we're going to break this down. So um, it says 7,042 days until Black Monday. Right. So mm -hmm. they obviously went back in time. And so we find out that it's actually 1968. Mm. And we find out that Mo, a.k.a. Roland, was actually in the Black Panthers. And we see the whole thing that goes down with him and kind of how he doesn't have trust in women. Mm. What do you guys think about that segment? It was powerful for yeah. me. It was powerful. Oh, my gosh. Connie did him in the door, like, all the yeah. way. Like, that was so hurtful, like, the hurt on his face when he realized mm -hmm. that it was a setup the entire time. It, it definitely explains a lot. It brought some things full circle as to how he interacts with women right now. Mm. So, yeah. Absolutely. What you guys think? Yeah, I most definitely have to agree. I think it brought it all home, and I think that's why it was so important for them to show that past... You know, you flesh it out, right? Mm -hmm. we, we Now we know even more about Mo than we ever have, mm -hmm. and it sheds so much light on why he will never apologize, why he never thinks that women are trustworthy. It just goes down that whole path like, oh, now it all makes sense. He, he literally went seriously. to prison because of Connie. Because of Connie. You know, he basically trusted her, thought she was dope, right. finds out, you know, she was undercover, and then literally goes to prison, and we don't know how long, but obviously that's going to have effect on you. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when he was in the Black Panthers, he's trying to do something right. You know, they go to kill, you know, or not kill, excuse me, kidnap uh, governor at the time, Ronald, Ronald Reagan, Reagan. Uh, from the Capitol, and then that's when the bust happens. What do you think, Shay? I just legit kind of want to be like, dude, you got a mouth, you can say no. 
Like, I feel like the, obviously that's so wrong of me to think that, but I'm also like, you didn't have to let her lead you in the into, way, what? into what you did. Like, because he, he had his own anxiety towards it, and you can mm-hmm. tell. Yeah. I'm like, but if you, I figured if you just said no. That's the power take, of the P, baby. Yeah. That's the it. power of, do you though? Do you? Do you? <laughs> that part. And not only that, you do bring it, up but, a good part, Shay, because mm-hmm. I think he was good he was more good hearted he, yeah, he didn't, we didn't even know he didn't say that no because that's not the mo he was that's right. why he's the mo he is now because he got mm-hmm. hard yes. but he was really soft at one point so he couldn't say no right he was in love mm-hmm. so and that's what love yeah. does yeah. that's what love does to you baby i mean we've literally seen yeah. that this whole show exactly. we've seen don what she's done for love we've seen what mo mm-hmm. has done because oh, yeah. you know secretly he loves don mm-hmm. you know we see blair i mean we see all these things yeah. even our boy you know what i'm saying what he's done for his boyfriend you know what I'm saying and yeah, negating exactly yes, yeah. negating everybody so love is a strong thing and we've seen people fall under yes. love but you know what that's a great point Lem mm-hmm. the fact that love is continuously shown throughout even if it's thinly veiled as I love you but I hate you right. kind of thing I think it's dope because this such an in your face kick ass no holds barred yeah. take no prisoners kind of show so for that to be the premise of almost every episode but then for them to sneak love in there that's pretty slick I just mm-hmm. heard that when you were breaking it down mm-hmm. just now like yo that's some good yeah. writing you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. yeah that's a little double entendre <laughs> kind of thing but I mean it is I mean I think that we have to understand like this is I mean, you know, look at the producers of this show, right? They're very good. Uh, Seth Rogen is very good for having crazy, raunchy comedy, Mm, you know, and mm. like in-your-face slapstick stuff, but having underlying tones. Mm. We've seen it throughout a lot of his movies. And so, movies he starred in and also produced. Mm -hmm. So, this is no, you know, exception. No surprise, right. And so, I kind of, you know, see this, and I think it takes you a while. You don't see that right at you know, right at front. Right. But it does take you, as you you progress, you know, and seeing the characters and seeing kind of how the storyline is, and that's what we see. Right. And so, it'll be interesting to see, and I kind of know, um, want to know uh, Elia who's the person that fell down um, I mean can you tell us <laughs> why <are> you <laughs> don't ask her. Her. I, mean, I just want to get her I don't know. <laughs> you have to try do you even know what he's at you have to try do you even know the question that he's trying to go with are you talking about from the first episode from the very first episode when he falls into the trying to figure that out I mean aren't we all yeah exactly I don't know okay okay Shame on you, Elia. What? I'm, I'm just saying. No. Her name Someone is. Someone else about to come out the building. No, I, said, I didn't say that. I said liar. I said oh, oh, no, I'm no, sorry. no. Yeah, it's okay. Sydney, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're about to get her it's taken okay. straight to court. You know what? I'm just doing my job as a. You know what I'm saying? But um, what was the thing that? What What did you think, uh, Elia, as far as that segment? Seeing us go back in time and seeing how uh, Don Cheadle's character Mo, how he's affected. Yes. Um, like we were all saying, I think it just is full circle. It's very revealing, and mm-hmm. I loved it to show finally like a more softer side to Mo because mm-hmm. we were always just seeing this like hard, hard. edge and right. like, you know, you just can't penetrate. Um, and the moment that touched me the most as, um, is the moment that at the, or, or we're not there yet, right? Do you want me to? Uh, what? No, 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 I was in the part of the lake house. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, we haven't got there yet, but go ahead. Yeah, you, you, you I just want to say that was just a beautiful part to me as far as going back from Mo. It's just to see him so vulnerable. That was right. definitely the most vulnerable I've seen him all season. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And um, and it was great to see the woman who did this to him, like who created this monster Mo. Because mm-hmm. I always wanted to know, too, they, I would hope that uh, they were going to reveal who did this. Mm-hmm. Like, why is he this way? Right. So it was good to finally see. It was good. It was know, a reveal. Yeah. It was, it was a definitely nice reveal. an interesting way they mm-hmm. did that. Um, one of the other things that we did see in that is this uh, when he goes to jail obviously as a result this is where he's introduced to Jammer mm-hmm. who we know in previous episodes that was the person that got him in to what he does now uh, and it kind of is full circle because when we get into the actual what's happening live mm-hmm. so to speak um, we see that he's you know doing the ashes of him and he's the one that got him into Absolutely. were you guys surprised um, that he you know that's where he met him was in jail I was very surprised. First of all, I was surprised he died. That was kind of something they snuck they in snuck there. I'm in. like, oh, they but you're not going to tell me? Right, like, right, you're right. not going to show me how he... Well, like, you know he was, well, sick. We know he was yeah. sick. He was no, sick. No, but that moment would have been just like, uh, you know, like, was Mo there? Was he not there? Did he get the call? Is he next of kin? Like, I, I just kind of wanted them to flush that out um, because they were just so closely linked together. Mm. And... 
Jammer, uh, the Jaminski guy, is basically who created Mo, mm -hmm. the personality sure. of Mo. He's not Roland, he's Mo. Right. And he's made by the Jaminski school of thought, mm -hmm. and uh, like so to speak. So right. I, I wanted to see a little bit more from that moment. But other than that, yeah, I was kind of surprised about the whole thing. One of the things that's interesting, too... Um, is when you see, and we've seen this before, when we see, like, um, you look at, like, a Malcolm X situation, right? He became Malcolm X, he was Malcolm Little, and then went to jail, and then found Islam, and then became who he was. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see when people come, a lot of times they become rehabilitated, but also it happens to flip. You know, we can look at him, where he was a good guy mm -hmm. doing things, and then he's under the Jaminski rule. Who knows how long he was in prison, but literally you're there yes. all time, and so you literally can be indoctrinated by this person. And because he was already in a vulnerable state. Oh, you got deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, hey, do you feel it? I love that comparison. <laughs> I love that comparison. Because no, Dirty yeah. Red, coming from Dirty Red yes. all the way to Malcolm X, you're mm -hmm. absolutely right. It can work both ways. Yes. And that's what happens to a lot of people in prison, right? They don't come home and they're just who they were prior to going oh, in. Of course. Right. Some major transformation has to have happened, especially if you spend any more than like five years there. Forget about it. Oh, you're yeah. like doing some real time. So therefore, who you become is transformative. So I think that's awesome. And yeah, I agree with you. That that scene right there, that got me. Because yeah. that was showing the vulnerability that he never allows. Mm -hmm. So when he looked at her, it was like, you know how to get out, right? Yeah, I'm good. It's like he's like, like, all over again. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All over again. Yeah. Because not, not just Connie, but Dawn hurt him too. Remember, they True. had a little thing. Yes. Yes. And he was obviously, he's pining for her in his own way. Absolutely. Because she ended that. Not because he walked away. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that, like, yeah. he's kind of sees Connie reincarnated almost. You know what I mean? Yes. To some and degree. I'm sure Mo has the question in his head. Like, how was Blair able to pull Don? Like, <laughs> right? he was the butt of the joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I'm now the joke. Yeah. Like <laughs> exactly. How did that happen? <laughs> well, it's 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 kind of it's interesting because when we first you know are introduced to Mo, he's the man, mm -hmm. right? He's running this company. He's got a freaking robot butler or whatever. <laughs> right. He's doing all this stuff. We can Even tell that in he's, his Black Panther days, exactly, he was the man. Exactly. Everyone was like, Hi, we can Roland, see, you know, Hi, he's the potato man. So we see him, you know, always in that. And then it's interesting to see as time progresses. We see not necessarily the demise, but kind of the diminish mm -hmm. of him and his character and how he's not the man in charge. Mm -hmm. Don has kind of assimilated. She's now partner. She's now calling shots. And now we see getting into that other side where she's like, you know, he's like, oh, Jaminski play, or excuse me, the Georgina play is, we're just going to dead that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to sell it. She's like, no, 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 no. I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. And so now she's saving the day. I can make you work. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's not, now it's like, well, what get am I in for? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So um, it's just really interesting transition. What do you think, Shay? I just, okay, so the whole thing with Mo, and the whole thing with Mo and Don for me is the fact that you kind of pushed her away. So mm -hmm. when you do that to a person, a person can only be pushed away so long before they kind of give up on you in a way, and then they move on. And you can't really blame them for that because you're the one who started it. You're the one who pushed them away. You can feel hurt and that's totally fine, but right. I don't also agree with you just sh then shutting them out of your life because now your feelings are hurt when you hurt them multiple times. Right. So that's the only thing for me, and I definitely can see why she likes Blair. Like, they do get along. Why do you think she likes Blair? Yeah. Not, probably but also because of the way he kisses. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm just okay. saying. Um, <laughs> you know? She like from a table. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. Did you kiss him? <laughs> Because I felt it, <laughs> and I know. Dang. Shay's like, I recognize that. Oh, I, I know, know what that, that looks like. Exactly. I was I'm like, yo. That. I played the fifth. Oh. Oh, my, oh, what I do, okay? She uh, said, oh, what I do. <laughs> or don't do. <laughs> or don't do. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Just, you hey. know. Mm -hmm. And they do have things in common. Like, he gets her, like. They just get each other in a way that is softer, and she kind of—I think she she's so hard all the time. She needs that softness, yeah, to smooth it out. Like with her and Mo, it'll just be like a uh, trying to figure out who's gonna be dominant instead right. of just yeah. equal. Yeah, like we're just like now we're just relaxed and cool. Like there is there won't be that with them. I feel like even if they, if she did, 
choose Mo. Mm -hmm. That was such a thing to be chosen. Don't you think that like the underdog resonates with her because she is the only female and she's African American. Blair is the underdog of all of these vultures, you know. These stock market vultures. So you think she's sympathizing with him oh, or totally. building oh, yeah. a connection yeah. that way? Yeah, you can see it all in her face. Yeah, mm. yeah and, the sympathy is definitely. And so there. that's how she's so eager to relate with him and to have those moments, just like when they were at the auction and they were having their own little conversation. And Tiff is looking over like the whole things like fake and you know, but it was really a connection happening, and I saw that. I, I mean, I, that's a good point. Um, I want to divert to our guests um, because I want to get from you. We've seen, uh, obviously, um, Don's ex-husband, Spence, um, or, you know, she's, she's right, soon to be ex-husband. Um, but they Don't haven't been, like, on equal playing field for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, now she's, you know, she's had, you know, some interaction with uh, young Blair, mm-hmm. and she's obviously <laughs> feeling him. Um I personally don't see much of a difference between Spence and Blair. Personally, Mm. what is your take on that? Well, I actually am kind of on your side where you sit, like with that, because as a strong, (laughs) (laughs) as a strong woman, Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it, like what you said. They're always her and Mo are always in competition, and I don't know if you've ever had this personally, you know, in a relationship or uh, when people are too much alike, um, it just it clashes. It doesn't. That's why, like a lot of you know, relationships are kind of like yin and yang. Yin and yang, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, so somebody has to be the alpha, somebody's not, you know. So I think, like, what you're going back to that, they are definitely similar. Um, they kind of let her be more in charge. They admire her. Like, when Blair had that talk in the restroom with her uh, during his engagement um, party in the bathroom, um, he was telling her how, oh, you're so amazing, you're so smart, you're this, you're that. He looks, he, like... Kind of, you know, he really respects her. Right. She appreciates that. Mm. Every woman does. Like, of we all want to hear that. Of course, we all want to hear that. So, yeah. I think and Mo doesn't do that for her. Absolutely not. But I think oh, Blair yeah. has potential is like the mix between Mo. He's like the middle ground for them. As um, also, some Alonzo uh, Wilkins in the chat said, he's middle ground. Mm-hmm. He's what is between Mo and Spence. Oh. He is that middle ground for her. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Kind of the, the, the best of both worlds, yeah. so to speak. Because yeah. Blair has times where he actually can be forceful. That and is true. Yeah, he can Alpha, and you're just like, was not expecting this from you, but I'm here for it. Brings that out of him. Oh, every time. Um, True. Real. So I feel like (laughs) (laughs) it's like that's the middle ground that she Mm -hmm. needs in her life. Speaking of uh, Tiff, so we see uh, at the end of last episode, Mm -hmm. uh, and it starts in the beginning of this episode, that she's kidnapped. Right. And of course, the initial thing is like, oh, this is a joke. Blair's thinking like, because he got kidnapped. It was a joke. It wasn't real. Mm -hmm. There was a whole fiasco with that. Um, But she's gone. And we keep seeing these count, you know, of like two hours, then four hours, then seven hours. Uh, And then the parents are there, her parents. And they got this little nasty detective, right? And uh, <laughs> why right? Be nasty? because he don't know. Any, like, first of all, how are you going to be playing charades <laughs> to determine <laughs> what you're saying? Like, I'm like, yo, really? And I think it's kind of carryover. Like, I'm having my little, you know, opinions, but I think it's carryover because I'm a big. A House of Cards fan. And the oh, same okay. actor, he played a role that he was kind of like annoying mm. and sneaky and a little grimy. And I feel like this detective is the same thing. And I'm like, that dude again? Really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so it's kind of carryover. Yeah. And he, when he's playing charades with him, he's like, you know, uh, sounds like. And then I'm just like, if you don't talk to this man, and like his <laughs> wife is gone. So extra. He's like, you know like, like Nerva Ben, Karate yeah. Kid, Wax on, Wax on. New print. <laughs> like, new print. I was just like, I'm, I'm with you. Tell me what you want. Like you, I need you to use your words, sir. I was mad. I, I just was wanted mad. him to like slap him at that point. Right. right. You need right. A, a straight bitch slap. Right. Ba-doom. Yeah, he was he was doing way too much. But then, of course, as it develops, yeah. we find out, of course, you know, big surprise, that the parents were the one that had her kidnapped mm-hmm. because they wanted the stock to go up. Allegedly. 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 We heard that conversation behind that door. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> That's uh, what and, it was. And the detective allegedly, allegedly. had a briefcase yes. full of money mm-hmm. uh, that was supposed to be going to the kidnappers. Mm-hmm. So... I feel like this was a situation um, that helped bring 
Blair in touch really with Don because here he is he's thinking you know this woman is the love of his life obviously they've been having problems we saw in the last episode you know there was a whole big shift where he's just like I don't think this is supposed to go down yeah. and so he's already in that state and then this happens and he's like wait a second okay I can't with y'all you know and then her mom is just like she has pills and all these pockets and areas <laughs> and secret things in the house and you know Everywhere. what I'm saying get like, my chill pills Everywhere. wherever there's a pocket every, chill every pills. room find my chill pills kitchen yeah. closet so they are dysfunctional even though they're rich yeah, think? still dysfunctional he said, even though that's most of the time right. Right. <laughs> that would be right. the culprit true 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 money true. solves everything okay right. except but also right. let that be known that money is the answer to everything this just proves it right exactly. here. Oh, there you go because yeah. we had money we were able to get out of this ransom they only wanted a hundred grand that's, only, <laughs> that's what the mom cool said they only wanted a hundred right so she to the wind that thing said they just only wanted a hundred grand right <laughs> like thank god the money solved that thing come on acting kitty be real quick <laughs> be real quick though about that money does money solves a lot but does not buy your happiness or won't fix your problems at the end of the day they can make them go under a rug and that's about it well it, it, yeah the, true <clears throat> and i think that this is a situation where we see a lot of i mean again we're talking about you know i brought up the love situation mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. it's also very telling of these people and basically they're what they're really about mm -hmm. you know so we're seeing transitions with don we're seeing transitions with blair and we're seeing transitions with mo which are kind of the, the pinnacle characters um, in this story. So that being said, we move on to when, you know, Don is looking for Mo and she's like, where's Mo? She goes in, which is crazy scene. There's pee everywhere. Um, the guys in the office and <laughs> they they're, are so they're so, they are so, are they so crazy. Nasty? They are super nasty. This is, this is the Seth oh, Rogen. That's I'm telling you. Yes, he gives you the yes, stuff. Yes, yeah, I know. Like, yes, but this is the yes, overt stuff yes. that you're just like, really? Yeah. And they're like, what are you guys? Are you guys in a circle jerk? And they're like, no, nah, no. We're not no, gay. We're not. Come on. We're just First of all, <laughs> Elia, did you know what a circle jerk was? <laughs> You didn't, Wait, like, you didn't know? You didn't know yeah. what a I had to literally sit Shut back up. and rewind that two or three times. Wait. I don't, circle jerk, who said? Okay, never mind. The nasty. I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, like, I'm so naive, though. Suki, like, suki, y'all. Suki, suki. suki. <laughs> don't play me. Don't oh, play me. <laughs> no, yeah. No, yes. it's, it's terrible. I don't know what a circle jerk was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that, I, that, that discuss, like, I learned it late in life. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but that discussed discuss, like, yeah. pretty it much is when the, they're in a circle and they're all doing what? Jerk her off. <laughs> she, she's doing deep. She wants right. to hear it. She's you, hilarious. I was like, you Clearly, know she's setting us up. That's why I didn't play along. Anyway, that's why I didn't play along. Exactly. As you should not. Exactly. So Don goes. What is the purpose? There is no purpose. That's the whole point. Who gets there faster? Again, there is, we're, we're going to move on because right. it's terrible. <laughs> Disgusting. It's a terrible, terrible situation. Um, but one of the things is uh, that's where Dawn finds out the information right. about Mo. Mm -hmm. So I really want to talk about um, when she talks to Mo. But before we get into that, uh, we have some information yeah. about Octobus that Kitty is going to talk about. Most definitely. Listen, listen. Before we move on to our next topic. <laughs> listen. Everybody listen. Like, no, seriously. We real, honestly just wanted to say thank you. We want to spit out a sincere thank you for making us the ESPN of TV talk for us to continue and to grow we need your help if you're on YouTube right now hit that thumbs up button please and subscribe and if you're on iTunes please give us a five star rating we deserve it we're up here busting our butts to make you laugh come on now but no matter who you are honestly leave us a comment so you can get involved in the conversation being a part of After Buzz TV has meant so much to all of us and we truly appreciate your supporting us in all that we do and all that we absolutely positively Tibly love. Can I get an amen on that amen. one? Amen. Don't forget amen. to tell your friends and keep enjoying our shows. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, so real quick, um, we want to end up, um, before we get into our special segment, talking about, and also talking to our amazing guest, uh, talking about uh, the situation that happened towards the end when we Don goes over to Mo mm -hmm. uh, at the cabin, which... She's well aware of uh, because <laughs> said Uptown is like, what is that? Uh, and she knew exactly where that was. She, what she did. That's right. pretty cool. Right. So she goes there. Mo's scattering ashes. She thinks uh, he's part of the kidnapping. So she comes with a And I'm like, what do you do with a gun? Like, what are you going to do? 
Like if Where he was the kidnapper, the Let's that's exactly there. yeah. yeah. It, it was all crazy. It was all crazy. She's prepared to save a life. Yeah. What do you mean? What's I, she doing with a gun? Sure. Where did she get it? But She's what was a she gonna do? She, she, <laughs> okay. She don't. Of course, course she has a gun. Floor. What you okay. mean? What she got? Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So she comes she over with a gun. Mo is like basically. Like, what are you doing? Right, you know, right. uh, she finds out, you know, what he's doing. He's scattering the ashes. Uh, and basically, they end up having a conversation. Well, they drink all night. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, they wake up in the morning they together. They didn't touch each other at all. Right. Yeah, right. of course. Uh, of course, you know, it's asked, though, like, what do we do? And she's like, uh, we just drank. You know, that's what happened. Uh, and so then it gets serious. And the talk goes um, talking about the Georgina play and how... Uh, Mo is basically like, look, I, I give up. This is what we're going to do. We're going to sell that uh, because of what happened, and we're going to make a little money, and then it's just going to be done. Yeah. I don't want to have to worry about this whole situation. Of course, then Don's like, no, no, no. It can be saved. Mm -hmm. Why can it be saved? Because my man. Because I kind of dig him. It. Yeah. He kind of digs me back. Yeah. So he won't when, work with you, but he's going to work with, with me. me. Ow. Okay. That part. <laughs> So then, of course, um, that's when she, you know, breaks it out and says, he's like, well, why? And he's like, well, because he's in love with me and I think I'm in love with him. Mm, that's where, you that know, part. that's where yeah. it dropped. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mo and Mo Fashion was like, oh. Okay. Word. Um, you, you got an Uber coming? Right. Uh, uh, you, you good? Because you, 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 know you have a map or exactly. what's up? Because you got to go. Bye, Felicia. Right. Bye, um, Felicia. And then that's where we end the episode. So... Uh, what do you all think uh, is going to happen as a result of this? Because my thing is, he is he's really shot at this point. Of course, he's not going to show it, but we see how he is. Mm. Mm. Ilya. You're looking at me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like So like I mentioned earlier, that was such a powerful moment for me. Mm -hmm. um, and just Don Cheadle as an actor, like he's amazing. Mm. Like, Absolutely. Working oh, with him. On. and just, Hands down. Obviously. But that moment right there, you just saw everything. You felt it. You felt what he felt in that moment. I really felt for him. That mm -hmm. was a very uh, sweet but sad moment. Um, I just want so bad. For them to like, I want him to tell her like, really, I want them to have their moment. I'm actually rooting. I'm rooting for them. For I them. want, I want them to have that moment because they have so, they do have a crazy chemistry, and yeah, it's dysfunctional, but oof, it's, it's powerful. So it's wait, are you that energy? Okay, so if there was a prediction to make, you would say what's gonna happen? Yeah, next? I I keep, not yet. Baby. No, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, so even better, better question. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Let me follow rules. Um, <laughs> in terms of their coming together and having that moment, are you yeah. just hoping that they have a moment, or are you hoping that they actually reconcile and create something? No, I just want them to have that true moment, that moment of truth. Yeah, it's clearly there. We all see. It's not even a secret. Right. But they never have said it straight up. I mean ever they play these mind games they do this they do that and then it's just there but they just don't say it they don't put it all the way out and i thought right. that was going to be a moment where possibly maybe it would happen the great reveal clearly it didn't well there was a reveal but not right. the, reveal. Well, the wrong reveal. not yeah. the what it was going to think like yeah and he walked off and i don't know what's going to happen after that mm -hmm. yeah. yeah she looked back hoping that he would like come back or he was still there and he was gone nah, nah, he was so done. you talked about working with don Cheadle. what was your experience like working with don Cheadle? it was amazing don and with regina both of them First of all, I've always been like a fan. Huge fan. I mean, who right. of us aren't? Um, seen all their stuff, all their work. So to work with them, I just paid attention. Like I seriously just observed and watched and learned so much, yes. and was just blown away by them. Um, first of all, just the level amount of improv in the show is amazing. Really? Yes. Yeah, like there's things. That, yeah. Like even the episode I was in. A, lot, a few of that was improv, but it just went so great. And Regina is so quick and so fast yes. and so funny, which we already know. But I was just like, wow. And, That's um, awesome. Yeah. And and even with Don, you know, he's a true professional. It was great. I just felt really comfortable with all of them. And um, it was it was really great. That is awesome. Very quick, quick with it naturally. Yes. Oh, absolutely. She's smart. I mean, she's intelligent, yeah. so you have to be. I can imagine the type of improv that happens uh, with this show. It just seems like it's full of. Oh, and we're cracking up. Yeah, like it was awesome. All the like time. that episode was with uh, Leslie Headland. She was the oh, okay. director yeah. of that one, and we were just laughing like every take. You know, especially the elevator scene that was right. hilarious. Oh um, my god! So yeah. tell me something about that scene. Um, it was implying that mm. you, like the father, was a client of yours. Yes. Tiff's dad. Precisely. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why money solves everything. Because right? he got a little 
Suki, Suki got to make her money. You know, Suki's all about having fun. See, you see what I'm She's saying? She's about her paper. See, you, you just did what I thought. <laughs> Thank you. Rest my case. Yeah, no, I try uh-huh. to bring it all back uh-huh. full circle uh-huh. so you uh-huh. can look good, boo. Okay, okay, okay. Just helping you out. Anyway, right. Um, this is what I do for you. <laughs> I want to kick up uh, our special segment really quick, and then we're going to get back to our guests before we close out. Um, do we have our our uh, special music, Bree? Do we have it? Do you guys have music? I don't think I so. Don't. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, no. It's all right. It's all right. I love our little As special segment. It up. Right. So, uh, special segment today, I always like to bring out the little things that happen that takes me back to the 80s. And mm-hmm. this time, we saw Blair when he was sitting down with his in laws, and he has a little doll. And that doll is the Cabbage Patch doll. I love it. Which uh, was huge. Basically, literally, uh, the number one seller back when it was coming. Everybody wanted a Cabbage Patch doll. Oh, yeah. Kitty, you Everyone talked about having... One. I literally cried dinosaur tears. I begged and pleaded with my grandmother. And she was so out of touch with popular culture mm. that I just knew she wouldn't even know where to go to get it. So I was like, I don't even know why I'm crying and going through all of this because she's never even going to be able to find it. And Christmas Day, baby, Aww. I God. opened up with the black Cabbage Patch and I was done. <laughs> I Christmas was Day? fit to be tied. Oh, yeah. She got oh. it for me for Christmas and I was... Nice. I mean, it was everything. Honestly, I... people were fighting each other Ooh. over these oh, dolls. Yeah. They were crazy. Yeah. No, it was it was huge. Yeah, I don't know nuts. if we uh, if we still have the picture, but oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Little chips. In between. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little chips action. <laughs> Little chips action. Yeah. But yeah, Little no, song. this doll was was crazy, and I remember when it came out. Like my, you know, I have two younger sisters. Yeah. And uh, the sister right under me, she was like clamoring for this doll, yes. and there were times where they would have it. And literally, you couldn't like you you couldn't find it on some no, cases. No, it's not a game. It they was, were it was, fighting. It was so, Women were fighting so each other. So huge. Yeah, it was nuts. So so huge. Yeah. So did you did you know about the cabbage mm-hmm. match? Yes. Uh, the dance or the doll? I do both. The doll. Oh. <laughs> I should say the dance. Yes. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Oh yeah. yes. No, my siblings and I. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cabbage patch. It's all yeah. about the oh, cabbage patch. Yeah. Serious, and serious business. It looked like Tiff. It was, yeah. it was a brunette. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we had a picture right there. Skin. Right. Yeah. 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 The cabbage patch And he was dolls. holding that ball. I don't think people really know that scene. Angela, you know Angel. You're that chick oh, to be yeah. noticing I, that. I Pointed like, out yeah. the scene. He is really like Blair was holding the doll, clutching, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. right, almost like his pearls, yeah. darling. As the <laughs> parents sat there on the couch and lamented. <laughs> Their daughter missing. Right. That was when we saw the cabbage patch. Right. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, it was it was a small scene, but definitely. It's like, um, we're gonna sneak this in. It always right. comes back to the '80s with that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, let's get back to our guest. Um, there is a lot that I you have say going something. on. I don't want to. <laughs> what? About what? As soon as you said it all comes back to the eighties, she started. Ooh, eighties! Oh, yeah, it was, it was. I was thinking about the cow track here. I just I wasn't saying nothing about that because I have my own thoughts. But it's uh, okay. Okay. Oh, Continue. Okay. Hi. Oh, look at this gorgeous picture of Elia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yes. The Black Monday oh, premiere. Yes. That's dope. Um, so, Elia, um, in in getting on with this uh, character and just being a part of Black Monday as a whole, what was your experience like? I mean, you talked a little bit about it, you mm-hmm. know, working with some of the characters. But what was your experience like as a whole with being part of this, being it's on Showtime? Mm-hmm. You know, there's a super power-packed cast, obviously. Absolutely, yes. Um, it was just overall amazing, like just magic. Like um, there was a lot of great energy um, being on set. The whole cast, crew. I mean, this was the best set I've ever worked on. Like mm-hmm. everybody was just amazing. Um, and I think that's just the the energy to of a new show. Uh, you got a new show. You got this new energy. You got all these uh, people on set working together, and all these talented people as well. So it was just overall just. You know, awesome. dream come true. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, again, they have so good. Food on set, girl. Did they have what? Good food. Oh, amazing food. <laughs> well, so, crab yes. sandwiches of all the very, places to ask you what they are about crab sandwiches. That's, 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 that's a very important question. That's a very important question. They had everything. Crab services is always on point. They were on point, exactly. The only other show I know has the best crab cheese is Grey's Anatomy, so... I and you know, know this story. because you've been to all the shows? Oh, because I, I worked on Grey's Anatomy. They, I'm just saying yeah. comparatively, babe. Like, oh, comparatively, that is seriously, no, they have the best crafties. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, Damn, <laughs> what, what got you into acting? Well, um, it's like one of those things where I'm sure a lot of artists, they're like, oh, it's just, you know, you're born with it. But it's, it sounds cliche, but it's true. Like, as a kid, I just had this crazy imagination. I displayed it at an early age. Um, like, I had dolls and everything. I would name them. I would put shows on for them. You know, I even had, like, an imaginary friend. 
question because I just had like a crazy mm-hmm. active imagination. Um, and I always wanted to like entertain, like my, whether it was my family, uh, friends, because there's six kids in my family. So Ooh, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> and you are number. I'm number three. Wow. Yes. So you're kind of a middle child. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Wow. Yes, exactly. So um, just be having that in like fourth grade, I remember I did this play and that was like my defining moment. Of course. And I, where I was like, this is really what I want to do. Like I knew I wanted to entertain and create, but then the acting essence was, was what I knew. And then um, I moved out here after high school and uh, started doing extra work. Um, that's how I started. So I was doing a lot of extra work. I moved out here, didn't know a soul in From the industry. Where? Mm-hmm. From Hanford, Hanford, California. Hanford, so the valley. Valley. Hanford. The real valley. That is the valley. That is That's the real valley. valley. Shout out to yes. Hanford yes. people. Yeah. yeah, you Hanford know. Hanford H Town, California. Okay, That's but you right. can't say H Town. She is right. Yes. So we make it. You I know. know what you said. It's Let literally me like out she's trying to claim we, Texas. We no, call it H-Town. No, no. That's it's our Hanford. little H-Town. That's so perfect. They call it like, the, like, that area is like, they call it the armpit of California. <laughs> like, it's, it's, because it's really a hot. pretty armpit. It's a really, a pretty armpit. Oh, I yeah. can go hot. It's crazy. It, yeah. It's, it's crazy hot. I, I ran uh, yeah. uh, summer track. Like, I did track my entire, like, Ooh. life. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I would tell you, it gets about 110 easy. Ooh, like, mm-hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. That is so serious. No, it's not a game. Yep. Um, okay. Ilya, uh, before we close out, we definitely want to talk because you actually are, a, a, in addition to being an actor, mm-hmm. uh, you are a makeup artist. Yes, I am. And you have your own business. Talk yes. about that. Yes. So I've been a makeup artist for 12 years now. And um, now I have makeup by Ilya. So I'm a freelance professional artist. And I work with a lot of actors. I do a lot of headshot shoots, things like that. And being an actress myself, I know exactly you know, what look you that need. That is so quick, awesome. Easy. And the experience, clearly. Um, so yeah, it's really, really great. It's like a fun thing that I'm good at and I like to do and meet a lot of new people. Like it's, it's amazing. Nice. And where can they, if they want to find out more mm-hmm. about your makeup, um, oh, line of your business. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. So they want to, um, yeah, book my services. You just go to makeup by Elia.com. So that's my name, E L I A. And then my Instagram is makeup by, um, underscore Elia. Same for Facebook, Makeup by Elia. Dope. So, yeah. so are you at Ulta? Are you in Sephora? Are you at CVS? How oh, would we no. purchase you? Oh, no, no, no. Not the products. It's my um, actual service. Services. Services. I got yes. you. She's yes. a makeup artist. So it's okay. my services, yes. Okay, right. my bad. Right. Thank yeah, you Yeah, but I was with MAC Cosmetics and Chanel, but got now it's like you. I'm on my own. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. And um, <laughs> in addition yes. to this show, you have an upcoming show that you can be on, which we were talking about earlier, which has a lot of buzz jumping off. Real The Fix. On ABC. Yes. Watch your mouth. Uh, <laughs> tell us about that. You're going to be on episode four. Yeah, I'll be on the show called Scandal, honey. Yeah. Oh. Scandalous. Yeah. So, yes. And um, my character is uh, going to be a good one. It's going to be close to home. <laughs> I'll put yeah. it that way. And um, yeah, so The Fix actually premieres tomorrow night, the show. Um, and it is um, executive produced by uh, Marsha Clark. Yes. So um, I think people will see some parallels between the show and real life. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a very, uh, it's going to be a very interesting show. Yeah. And I'm really excited about that. So That's dope. Um, that will be premiering tomorrow. And yeah, episode four, Scandal. Mm-hmm. Check it out for sure. Nice. Check me Absolutely. out. Well, we Congrats, actually um, are going to be covering that show. Uh, yes. <laughs> you get excited. <laughs> you better get excited. Yes. You better get excited. You better pull me in with That's you. That's right. Yes. yes. Oh my God. God yes. I love so, that. So uh, we're going to have you have to have you on for episode four. I would love to be back yes. on. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Man, that is so amazing. Give it up for our guest. Yes. Ilya yes. in the building. Yes. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our show. Want to thank you so much for tuning in. Again, shout out again to our guest, Elia, for being with yes! us. Yes! Holding it down. I've been your host, Lim Gonzalez, and you can find me everywhere at Lim Gonzalez. And Jill, where you at, girl? You can find me everywhere under my name, Angel Taylor underscore. You guys can find me at Real Shade Jones on Twitter and Instagram. Now, Apocalypse right after this show, Tuesdays, Good Trouble at 8 p.m. And I'm doing The Perfectionist starting Thursdays at 7. Boom. Good for you. So, Kitty Kaboom, K-I-T-T-I-E, Kaboom, baby, K-A-B-O-O-M on IG. Facebook, Twitter, you'll figure it out. K-I-T-T-I-E, just look for me. <laughs> That's right. Figure it out. And Elia, oh, yes. So yes, where can they find IG you? My is yes. my name, um, Elia Cantu. So, it's uh, E-L-I-A-C-A-N-T-U. Same for Facebook as well. So, I uh, hope you guys follow me yeah. <laughs> come come right <laughs> come, follow me follow me come and follow me that's right follow her and make sure you tune in i think we only got a couple
couple more episodes left, but we are really yes. excited. Yes. It's going down. Yeah, it's going down to the wire. We will, we will see you next week. Peace. Our Hi. founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.